Mesa County's Justice Center is in for a major expansion. The county plans to build two new courtrooms with one of them replacing the current probation office. Alex Preto Rivero has the latest. Currently, we're looking at building one courtroom on the second floor of the Justice Center. Expanding the Mesa County Justice Center was front and center at this week's Mesa County Commissioners meeting. Time frame for it is looking at January of 2025 to begin construction and to be able to complete and have the building, um, have the courtroom occupiable by June of 2025. William J. Seitler, the court executive, says the county is building this new courtroom one of two because the chief judge is currently handling all of his cases virtually through WebEx and needs a designated courtroom. So currently our uh, chief judge does not have a courtroom, so he's handling all his cases through WebEx. This new courtroom will be convertible, meaning it could be used as a county courtroom or district courtroom. The county is creating space by moving the current probation office across the street and into the Central Services Building. Seitler tells me the Mesa County Justice Center was originally built with later expansion in mind. The building was pre-built to be able to slide courtrooms in down the road due to future planning that was done when the court uh, courthouse was initially designed. Seitler tells me the probation office located across the street will look a lot different and will function a lot better. It'll have a lot more of a modern design. Uh, the probation office will be able to accommodate um, all sorts of different people that are on probation with different waiting rooms. It'll allow for a little bit of biz business flow in terms of people coming in and coming out. It'll have some security upgrades in the way it's designed as well. Construction of the new probation office is already underway and officials expect it to be completed in September of this year. Construction on that second courtroom will take place further down the line in about four to five years. In total, the courtroom project will cost around $2.9 million. Reporting on the Western Slope for KREX 5 News, I'm Alex Pritz-Rivero.